All right, so it's a few days before the 4th, the 4th July, Independence Day, and you know what that means. Lots of camping going on. We need to get the campsites ready. So that's where we're here today, where we got the Spectre TV mowing truck, the Duramax that, oh my goodness, boys, the flatbed. As you can tell, you've seen it before. And then we got the 40 foot, I believe, yes, 40 foot PJ trailer. Super nice flat deck there. Um,. But the load doesn't lock. That's one thing I'm a little nervous about. The load does not lock. So there we go. Let's hop in the 3500. And I just want to quickly say, if you guys didn't see last night's stream, that went on a really long time. I'm sure some of you guys missed it. No big deal. We hit, just real quick, 100,000 subs. I just want to say thank you to everybody who helped, who supported the channel. If you subscribed, if you liked the video, if you just watched the video, or even if this is your first time coming to the channel, I just want to say thank you. It was a huge, huge accomplishment, and I just want to say we did it. We did it, and uh, the stream was awesome last night. Lots of fun. Really cool seeing you guys all there. So thank you again. We hit 100,000. I just... I can't wait for that plaque to come in. If you guys didn't know already, when you get 100,000 subs on YouTube, you get this plaque. And the thing is with the plaque, it doesn't come till like, I believe it's every day it gets worse and worse as more people hit 100,000. But it's like something like, oh, like six months or like half a year. So I'm looking forward to that, but let's get right back into the video here. We are driving down to the campsite. Let's make sure. We know where we're going. Okay, we might need to turn off down vehicle volume just a bit. There we go. Perfect. Pop open map real quick. Okay, yes. We need to get on the interstate. We will head. It will be eastbound and down, boys. There we go. Moving on and trucking. There. What? Oh, what the heck is... What was that? For some... There was like a glitch or like a... Like a block in the road. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot. The mowers are over here. What are you doing, Spencer TV? All right, perfect. So it, it, it's not really early this morning, but, you know, early afternoon. And it's two days before the 4th. We are super excited for the 4th of July. It brings in a lot of new people, a lot of families and campers. So we are going up to the campsite, helping out. We're going to have the 50-foot bat wing running and then also just the rider to get around trees and to kind of like help out with the bat wing that where the bat wing can't get around all the trees that it needs to get. So, you know, we're getting a, we're getting our healthy dose of Monday mowing in as well. So there we are. Beautiful. Attached. Jeez, this 6M is a tight turning tractor. All right. Beautiful. <clears throat> Let's load her up. Again, this flatbed, the... The PJ, oh, there we go. The PJ trailer does not have a lock of load on it. So that I'm a little nervous on that, but there we are. Beautiful, shut her down. Get in our rider. We do have a bagger on it, but we have the option to take this off, that off as well. There we go. We were just gonna drive this down, but I thought it would be a little easier. <laughs> maybe not, maybe, maybe, maybe you guys will be like, sort of TV, what are you doing? Why don't you just drive? the 6m down well you know i i just thought maybe it would be easier if we uh if we did this so yeah we will be heading to the interstate am i yes we'll be taking right here we're on exit one i think we'll get off on exit two or three so there we are beautiful yeah no luck load but i'm i believe it holds up pretty good i i noticed oh my goodness boys the special obviously the 3500 is giving a little run for her money but she's she's doing just fine all right let's see how wide we can swing there we go beautiful oh we kind of we kind of smoked the stop sign but you gotta do what you gotta do that's a tight turn guys look at how small these lanes are we could barely even fit our we can't that is not safe we can't even fit our truck in here guys what even is this all right perfect there we go let's pull up our map okay it's gonna be ooh we'll have to get off on the exit three i'm thinking all the way down on the end and i will see you guys when we get down there and we can exit off all right so we're just driving down here we will be passing the campsites very shortly okay we're we're really moving now boys all right we'll have to slow down so there's kind of the campsites it, no it is a lot of trees there is some good spots for the bowing to really get in there um but it will be a lot of the zero turn hopefully not too we won't have to get in there too much we can really be efficient 
and that's kind of why I bought the, brought both you know both have separate jobs and like separate tasks which is which is really good and we can run them kind of dually so there we go slow her down Turn your blinker on okay yeah the, these these intersections are not made for this kind of stuff so first off we have to we're gonna pull off on the side here put our flashers on see if we can get over it just a bit I don't want to get too far in the grass we gotta mow it all right perfect there we go let's get the zero turn off and then we're gonna have to get these 6m off hopefully it didn't move around too much that'll be too hard to back off might as well just put my flashers on so people can see if traffic comes by all right that was sketch we made it oh oh okay the perfect there we go you guys didn't see that all right so here we go we gotta unfold the mowers real quick and then so it kind of wraps around here i'll, I'll kind of show you what is up and how this all works first i think i think we'll try and sneak is there a good is there a good place to put oh maybe not maybe we'll just have to leave it here see the nice thing is there are people down here there's a few people who got here early you know it's two days till till things really start to pick up or at least one and a half days and uh so we won't have that many people in the way but there will be some which will be kind of nerve-wracking um when we're riding around here we don't want to really get in their way but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do so there we are there's the 15 footer started up the blade there we go this is what she's really meant for on the side of roads we want to make it look clean so people come back next year bring their business with them bring their wallets with them and it really creates a because this is a really good campground uh right on the lake here people bring their boats all that so we want to make sure it looks really good and represents the kst map very well so they always come back like i said all right so here we go we're gonna try we're gonna try and see what we can do with the 15 footer and then uh yeah, we won't be able to hit the whole campsite today, but we, like I said, we're going to see what we can do. The 6M will be running. We'll kind of be just shooting across everywhere, inside, out of trees, and uh, places where the zero turn just really can't get to, and it would struggle. But there aren't too many open flat spots, which might be... It's kind of worrisome to me. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be on the side of the road here. I'm going to weave in and out of these trees. This is what is kind of hard, but it kind of does help with the 15-footer. It's quite a bit faster than the zero turn, and it starts to widen out here. So there we are. And on the other side, we aren't, like, we aren't supposed to maintain that. It's supposed to be, like, yeah, it's like a national park thing. We aren't going to mow it. You're, we're, we're supposed to keep the vegetation very high and organic and natural so we don't want to come in there you know mow it they don't let us do that all right perfect there we are so there's some people right along there who are doing some camping now it is again like we can't obviously go here at like six in the morning and literally come in here with the mower just guns a blazing as people wake up so that's why we kind of came like you know it, it's 10 a.m people should be at least up getting going and shouldn't mind this too much but then it's not obviously too late where people are, you know, trying to wind down and do all that. So we, we that's kind of why it's 10 a.m. and we're out here doing this stuff. There we go. Perfect. Keep her running, boys. Watch out for the 30, 35 mile an hour sign. All right. Perfect. There we go. Right alongside the road. This will be the most seen area. We got to make sure it looks real good. The trees, guys, we have so many trees. The 15 footer really can't get in too tight of spots, but it's nice for on the side of the road, which is really cool. Ditches, stuff like that. Really good stuff. There we are. She looks good. She's doing good work, boys. It's what we like to see. Now, we won't be able, like I said, we won't be able to hit everything. We do want to, uh, some of the stuff that's way back here, we aren't going to get to. The vegetation is already too high for the zero turn and the finish 15 footer but we want to make sure we get the side of the road kind of the check-in area um the popular pole and stuff like that so yeah that is what's up and then kind of towards the water too we'll get along the bank with the 15 footer i want to make sure we do that what else we'll just try and eye it up see what we can do here boys keep her mowing and we'll do a little time lapse when we get up along the shore here should be pretty cool 
Oh yeah, there we are. Now we're really, this is a good spot to do it. Super popular like little dock right here and stuff. There we are. People kind of boat up, kind of just explore. This is a very, very popular lake. Neat stuff. Neat stuff, okay. And crank her over. The 6M is the literally the tightest turning mower. Like it's such a small mower. Really good for, you know, the job that we're putting it. The task we assigned it today. See, we're turning so tight, like the 15 footer doesn't even, it's not even meant for it. But we're always repping John Deere. Can't wait for FS19 to have John Deere in the game, guys. Yeah, that's gonna be. Oh, boys. I, I just can't wait for FS19 in general. Oh, my goodness. I'm itching. I am itching. Um, they said it's coming out in winter. Hopefully, that's a lie. Hopefully, it's like mid fall. I don't know. That's rumors I heard. Rumor had it. You hate to see it, though. You really do. There we go. We're going to do a little time lapse. Hope you guys enjoy. All right. So that's about all we could do kind of right now with the 15 footer. If we do find other stuff, we'll make sure to go and hit it. But we're going to go see what we can do with the zero turn. But first, we need to make it back there. We need to get to the zero turn. We're going to see what she can do. See what she can do. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is pretty pretty tight. And uh, is, it, is it in a really good spot for the 15-footer? But she did pretty good. And we got the important stuff. Like I said, we don't need to get it all. It's not all for us to do. All right, there we go. I guess we can keep knocking out some of this stuff. Keep that running. And then, um, yeah, we can... We'll finish up a little bit here. There she goes. Slow and steady. It, I notice it does really struggle on a lot of like the just even small slopes. I don't know. It, it When it's like completely flat or okay. When we turn to then that's when she really slows down big time. But there we are. We're just kind of outlining most of the stuff. Keep the I think maybe it just it is pretty thick. It has rained a lot this past summer and so it's pretty thick we like to keep the rpms running high and we can't we we gotta go so see and then we just get moving holy jimmy christmas and then uh so if yeah we just gotta keep them running high go nice and slow and crawl to make sure we get a good nice cut and it's not all any jaggedy kind of stuff going there see we just slow down holy cow all right there we are that's about good for that section. We might as well just flip her off, raise it up. She should. There she goes. She's folding up. Beautiful. Looks good. Honestly, we'll just keep the flashers on. This will probably help with safety in the truck as we do this because we kind of want the flashers on. Yeah, just for kind of safety. With the vehicle on the road, obviously. All right. So let's go see if we can knock out a few things here. Now, it, like, it, like I said, it is pretty... There's some thick stuff, and it gets pretty weedy. Like, look at that. That's up to the seat. You don't really want to mess with all that up in there, which is... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the John Deere can do. Or is it? Is it not even picking it up? What the... I don't know if they wanted us to go around some of this outhouse stuff, some of the public areas what that it won't even mow is there something wrong with this mower oh what the heck that is weird i don't think this mower or maybe this is a weird mod but for some reason it's not n oh there it goes it knocks it down right there oh so it's not the mower why why did it knock it down right there Oh, this grass is different. Okay, okay. So we're going to have to stay out of the weeds. And, okay. That's weird. Well, we can only do with what we can. Oh, we can only mow the grass that's mowable, I guess. So you got to just mow what you can. And there we go. We'll run up and down the beach here real quick. Knock this stuff out so you know. Obviously, you don't want super high, tall grass that people can't, you know, hang out with while they're at the beach. If they don't want to be in the sand and they want to hang out on the grass, that's cool, too. So let's make sure she's nice and pretty. Nice and pretty while they while they chill out all that 
That light light poles are um, that were super cool. All right, there we go. We'll shoot across here, finish this up, and probably head down the other way too. See what we can knock out over there. Yeah. So we, I honestly like we. It doesn't. Even, at least the map doesn't really let us hit too much of the stuff. But what we do hit is looking and turning out really nice. All right, we can turn the blade off so we can get a going a little faster and keep heading down. So here, let's hop out real quick, kind of check out a campsite. Not too bad at camps. They all. This is. I'm guessing this is like sleeping part. It looks. It's kind of kind of fancy camps. I like them. A little step out there. A little canopy in case it's raining and you want to step outside. Some nice stuff. See, for some reason I can't move right there. What the? I don't know. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me. It's throwing me off for a loop. I. 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 I, I just can't figure it out. I don't know. I really don't. It is. It's really throwing me off. Let's see if we can go down here. Will it let us? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So right on the beach. That's that's the that's the prime time real estate right along here, and obviously people are gonna be on the beach. Super busy. You know, obviously you don't want to just stay in your tent all day, but yeah. So there we are. We'll, we'll take one more pass down and then back, and we will head over to the trailer, load her up, and get out of here for the day. This is this is gonna be good for. Uh, for the 4th of July for Independence Day. Super excited. We, we, we got to get out here and camp now that we kind of cleaned this place up. Made her look real pretty with the 15-foot bat wing and the zero turn. There we go. I guess I, I forgot to get in some some first-person action on the zero turn. We did in the bat wing, which was pretty cool. I like how you can turn around and kind of, you know, make sure you're hitting what you want to hit real nice. Oh, it's bumpy. It, it's really bumpy. Oh my goodness. It's kind of throwing me around. It's giving me a headache. All right, perfect. There we go. That's all we can do. For some reason, guys, unfortunately, it's weird. It's like alongside the road or alongside the beach is the only spot you can knock stuff out at. If it gets, if it looks like that, it, just the game doesn't let us. I don't know, super weird, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Moen Monday video. Hitting up the campsite, checking out what we got, and getting ready for the 4th of July. Super excited. If you guys are excited for the 4th of July, fireworks, camping, eating out, hopefully you guys are. Let me know in the comment section. Hopefully you have a great 4th of July. If you don't see me later or tomorrow or any of that, thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out. Thanks again for 100,000 subscribers. I'm excited to celebrate it with you guys. Goodbye.